I like that I literally started off the last part saying, like, I never know what part it is. Except I know what this one is, and I said part 12, but it was really part 13. And now it's really part 14. It's because I was looking at the number I saved, and I saved it as 12. In my head, I was like, oh, then this must be 12. I'm a fucking moron. Um, okay. So we're gonna go to Agrabah. We're gonna get pulled back. I don't remember how long the, the part after Agrabah is, but it's, it feels like a while, I think. I don't know if that's like the crescendo of Hollow Bastion or not, but it might be. That might not happen until you clear all the worlds, though. I can't remember. <sighs> I actually don't mind Agrabah. It's one, people say, like, oh, I'm sick of Agrabah and Olympus Coliseum. I, I like them. I think they're pretty good worlds in every Kingdom Hearts. You know, I think it's better in two than it is in one, to be perfectly honest. Of course, you wonder how Aladdin and Jasmine are doing. Hey, maybe Riku's with them. Yeah, I am the king. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Why on earth would Riku be with on, fucking <laughs> Aladdin and Jasmine? You're a fucking idiot. Uh oh, it's a um, it's a Yago. Wait, you got me all wrong! You're not your own right. No, I mean it's not the old me! I turned over a new feather! I'm legit! No more scams! Promise! That that's your new scam. You gotta believe me! Chara, let's go! I was stuck inside that lamp with your farm, remember? But I finally escaped! Then some things happened then. So, free as a bird, huh? Have fun! Gorge fillers, he looks pretty sad. I want to apologize to Aladdin and Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? Sure. We can do that, can't we? Watch out! So I don't know how I feel about the new design for the bandits. And I'm not talking about the recoloring. I mean, the fact that they we have like these two swords now. I kind of like the classic bandits. The ones from uh, Game Arts 1. I, I don't mind these ones. They're, they're cool and all. I just... Why can't we use both? That's all I ask. Also, totally forgot that since the... Uh, since I died to Zexion, they still have their uh, Limit Breaks equipped. I should change that. That would be wise. I actually don't know what these guys drop. Since they're in Agrabah, I assume it's something like Blazing related, but... I don't know. Could be anything. Valor form! Because I can. Because I can. Because I haven't used Valor in forever. Or I could die. Yeah, that could work too. Yeah, that's fine. Holy shit. I was getting... Oh, because they're infinite. Okay. I was like, I'm getting wrecked. What the hell is happening? Uh, where are they all coming from? This way. Aw, oh, we'd have been goners if Iago hadn't helped us. Ain't that right, fellas? I guess we owe you one. Perfect. But you'll have to win over Aladdin and Jasmine yourself. Be on your best behavior, got it? Yeah, I got it. Where is Aladdin, anyway? I bet she's at the palace. And let's go. Agrabah map. Map. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking about this, but I really, really love Gilbert Gottfried. I really enjoy that he continues to be the voice of Iago. I think he does an excellent job. Damn it, I just realized I left Jack with those accessories. Well, just gonna have to get better ones. Um, yeah, I was getting wrecked there. What the hell? I feel like Valor Form should have been better than that. Um, Donald, Auto Limit, MP Rage, Goofy, uh, Auto Limit. Uh, I like Hyper Healing and I like Second Chance. 
I don't know how how helpful second chance is going to be particularly to Goofy, so I'll just use hyper healing. That way, if Donald dies, Goofy can get him back up. Um. Yeah. Okay. And continue we go. <sighs> Seriously, though, they use that gimmick um, way too much in this game, where you start a fight and then you're like, "Oh, we're so tired. There's so many of them." Like, I get, I get kind of annoyed by it. Uh, what I will say is, if you're going to collect treasure, now is the time because no enemies will spawn in this particular moment. You can tell because Donald and Goofy are roaming around. They will never do that unless it's a safe area. Um, there's a lot of treasure chests in this one area, so I recommend combing for them, looking very, looking in every which way. Um, all right, how do I get this chest or get this sticker? Do I just jump on here? Yeah, I do. I think so. I guess to do that, you must need um, high jump level one at least, which we have. So that's good. Um, yeah, they're everywhere here. Uh, what else was I gonna say though? I uh, this kind of makes me think of it, but just in Kingdom Hearts 3D, uh, they introduced flow motion so you like can bounce off the fucking walls and do everything like that. I really hope that they still manage, even if they keep flow motion, just restrict it to like certain areas or something, because I like the whole like progression system that they have in Kingdom Hearts. I like that there are certain chests and certain stickers I can't reach until I level up my abilities. And that you can't level up the abilities until a certain amount of time, etc. I like that. It makes me feel accomplished. And it makes me feel like better for like going back to a place and um, like grabbing the stuff later. Okay, so this needs to be destroyed. Does magic work? Yeah, it does. Frontier puzzle piece. I think it's a new puzzle. Um, so don't miss that one. I don't think there's any chests hidden in these things, but I never fucking know. Um... I think I might have gotten them all. It seems too easy. It must be somewhere I didn't go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be spamming the shit at a quick run. I'm so glad to have some sort of like ability again. Although I'll be much happier when I get limit form and I can actually dodge roll. Then quick run will be gone forever. Dodge roll is just it's just the classic. You can't get rid of it. Um, although I think Aqua's cartwheel in Birth by Sleep is pretty helpful too. Uh, but they st you still have Ventus's dodge rolls. That's good. Jasmine, <sighs> Sora, Donald, Goofy, Your Majesty. <laughs> I never had the chance to thank you for before. You helped Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. But uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always got Aladdin. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. Huh? I'm not sure. Usually, he's the same cheerful Aladdin. But sometimes, he just seems sad. Mm. He leaves the palace and goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. He's gone again today. What if he doesn't come back this time? Hey, maybe he's got <gasps> a secret girlfriend. I know. I'll go find out who she is. <gasps> Iago, quick, Sora. Oh, catch him. And I'll warn the guards and everyone in the palace. That's the thing. Iago's not... Nice move. Maybe it's something you said. Ah. Gee, maybe we should go talk to Aladdin. He's got to be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. So I'm thinking about it, and I think most of the stories in King Hearts 2 they actually go back to like the original story of the movie. Oh, fuck Stop that. This. Hi, Sora. Come back here. One of the greatest characters. You can't in control game. that furball. Put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. 
Uh, no hard feelings? <laughs> A boo? <laughs> hey guys, uh, sorry about earlier. I was kinda in a hurry. What happened? You know Abu, he couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> no talking your way out of this one. Ha ha ha, Abu tried to save us all and we're laughing at him. But no, that was very clearly Jafar's lamp. If Aladdin didn't have fucking PTSD, he'd remember that. I just can't be that down in the dumps, huh? Who said I was? Princess Jasmine, she's worried because you're always in town. Got a new girlfriend. <laughs> no way. Still, I guess there's no fool in Jasmine, huh? See, Genie and Carpet took off to see the world. It's what Genie always wanted, so I wished him the best and all, but... You miss him. Man, things must be really quiet with Genie gone. Yeah, that's why I come here. The action, the people. Yeah. All of those people, Aladdin. Yep. Sure is a bustling town. Just filled with people everywhere. Definitely not a ghost town. There's always something going on. <laughs> I mean, come on, I met you guys here today, right? This place is full of surprises. Is Aladdin, like, a mental patient and, like, is imagining all the people in, these, in this place? And the peddler is secretly a doctor. It's all therapy for him. Uh, Sora, Yago. Alright, he wants to apologize for all the trouble he caused. Oh, he does. Gar, she's so shari, sorry he's shaking. That that lamp. What about it? It was the lamp, you know, the one with Jafar in it. Come on, there's a million like it. There really isn't. Hey, I was locked up in that thing for months. There's no way I'd mistake it. Abu is agreeing with him. We better go back and talk to that peddler. Right behind you. Um, what I was going to say is, I think every um, abilities, Aladdin, does he have auto limb on? He does? No, he doesn't. Auto change is a pretty good one. I like auto change a lot better, actually. Jackpot I can do without, item boost I can do without, or item boost and once more I can do without. Auto change I like and auto limit is pretty good. Um, I don't think there's any reaction commands in this in this place, so I don't really have to worry about it. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, I th when it comes to stories, I think Kingdom Hearts 2 for the most part, every story is just like the real story from Kingdom Hearts 1, or from the real movies. To put it in a better way, Olympus Coliseum in Kingdom Hearts 1, it's just kind of about a tournament that's happening. Hades is there and all, but it's mostly about Cloud 2. In, in Kingdom Hearts 2, it's actually about the theme of the movie, like Megara and Herc getting down the dumps and stuff like that. Um, and then with Little Mermaid, it's actually about, um, you know, Prince Eric and how she falls in love with him and stuff like that. In uh, Nightmare Before Christmas World in Halloween Town, like they actually go to Christmas, go to Christmas Town in Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, that's what happened in the actual movie. I think Aladdin might be the only world where they actually visit the sequel. Like, this is the plot of Aladdin 2, Return to Jafar, or whatever. Uh, and no, it is Return of Jafar. Like, this is literally the plot. So, I think that's actually kind of cool, because the other worlds, they kind of just said, fuck it. Um, so, I like the fact that, you know, they act, this is the only game, this is the only one where they went with the sequel. Like, it, this, that the whole thing includes Iago coming back and everything like that. And I like that. Because there's a... That means there's hope that in Kingdom Hearts 3, they'll do the... Uh, they'll do Aladdin 3, which is a really good movie that did not get a lot of praise. No, I'm sorry. Got a lot of praise, didn't get a lot of notif notoriety. Like, I don't know anyone who saw it. Because uh, they wasted all of the fucking um, advertising budget on getting Robin Williams to come back and voice Genie again. Is there any way we can buy that lamp from you? Of course, that is if you can afford it. No worries. Yeah, we can pay you in royal... Uh, Donald. Might I be able to interest you in another fine lamp? No, that's the one we need. Ah, uh, well, perhaps I can be persuaded. If you bring me a treasure beyond even my imagination. Something, say, fit for a sultan? Fucking Donald. You motherfuck. Literally the worst. Literally the worst. <sighs> treasure? That could be tricky. There's lots at the palace, but it's not mine to take, and I can't ask. I don't want to worry Jasmine or the, or the Sultan. Hey, I know. What about the treasure in the Cave of Wonders? All right, Iago, you lead the way. And after we get the treasure, I might even believe your apology. You can count on me. 
Um, I was just thinking earlier. I was like, "Is Cave of Wonders in this? Is in the Cave of Wonders in this game?" And then I realized, yes, it is. It's where uh, the uh, Mushroom Thirteen is. I like how I keep talking about the Mushroom Thirteen, but I've yet to show them because it re it would require me to revisit a world. <laughs> Uh, so this leads to the bazaar, or bazaar. I've never known. I've never known. I've never known how to say that word. Um, so uh, this one, I think this is one of the one of the few areas in the game where you can spawn the prize capsules, um, which are the. Uh, I think I don't remember if we fought one in um, Beast Castle, but Beast Castle is another place they can spawn. I think I should use Aladdin's, Aladdin's ability. I oh, fat bandits. I haven't seen those in a while. Alright, so where's Aladdin? I'll use Shift Shot, which is a pretty good reaction command. Um, I actually like Shift Shot a lot. Alright. And then there's Aladdin's no break, which is going to be wasted in a second because there's no more enemies. And then Trickster. Trickster's actually a pretty good um, limit because it gets, like, how do I put it? When you do Trickster, it um, all... How do, I'm trying to figure out how to say it properly. It'll, any enemies on screen, it'll hit them, and then I think they drop money and other shit. Um, and uh, it also, at the end of it, it draws everything in, which is pretty nice, because while I think draw is not worth is not an ability worth having on a Keyblade, it is pretty helpful. Um, and to not have to like run around and get all the loot is pretty good. Aladdin's ability in, um, can I even hit this thing? Yeah, I can. Aladdin's ability in, um, Chain of Memory is really good because it drops Moogle points, so you can buy more cards. Um, I don't know if it's based on his ability here, but sure, it's close. Ooh, Fire Boost. I'm just using Fire. That's perfect. Um, nope. Hang on. Combo Plus is still going to stay off. Increases damage done with Fire based attacks by 20%. Equip more to increase effect. I think you can equip more. Um, I think there's a Keyblade that increases Fire, but... I don't know if you ever get another fire boost ability. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm, it's weird to me that I can't seem to destroy these things even with a finisher. Maybe I have to like hit them so many times, but that seems like a waste. Um, but yeah, just destroy everything in this area because um, there's hidden chests and shit, and there's hidden enemies. And just fucking do it, man. Don't try and make this easy on yourself. All right. Well, this kind of sucks. Also, I guess. Um, I would need, I think I need another high jump, and I might even, might even need Glide to get that one. Uh, which Glide, you don't get until very, very late in the game. Uh, so that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, but, I don't know, maybe if your high jump was maxed, you'd be able to get it, but I don't, I don't think you can max your high jump until you get Glide, until you get, um, Final Form, which is where you get Glide, so. Never-ending cycle. Um, ooh. Getting hits again. Where the fuck is Aladdin? Where did he go? Is he caught on a wall somewhere? That literally was it. He was caught on a wall. Oh, never changed, Game Arts. Alright, well, that's everything. Uh, I Trent, no, almost everything. I think if we exit the area and come back, all the stuff respawns, but I think that'll also make it so that uh, a different spawn will come here. I think I might be able to trigger the prize capsule. Assuming... It appears on your first time here, but I don't remember if it does. Also, I don't remember if they give bright crystals anymore. I think they changed what they give in Final Mix. Um, I don't remember. Maybe, maybe they you can't destroy the things for them to appear. I legitimately can't remember. There's a trick to it, um, but I guess not. I'm, I just won't do it this time. It's, it's not like I need them anyway. Um, I don't need like the bright stuff because I a I have some already and b. Um, the only thing you can really get from them is bright crystals. Those are the only things you can only get from them. And uh, I don't need them because uh, I don't have any recipes that use them yet. So much to my surprise, this is not a map. This is actually um, a piece of equipment. I don't remember exactly. A skill ring. Extremely increases maximum AP. Which, if I wasn't on critical, would be incredibly helpful. Uh, but I am, so it's not. Uh, just to put it in perspective. I can give it to... Sora, Donald, or I can give it to Donald or Goofy, actually. Silver Ring. Who needs it more? Probably Goofy. I'll decrease his strength by one. Yeah, so it gives you four AP, which is pretty neat. Um, so that'll give me 
That'll give Goofy three more AP. Uh, so... Uh, defender I like. Item boost isn't terrible. Let's just give him second chance. I just, I feel like on partners, that's kind of useless, because they die anyway. But, I'll do it anyway. Um, don't want to save? No, we're good. Towards the Cave of Wonders. Yeah, that ring is going to be really outdated really quickly. <laughs> it's helpful, but there's so much better items. All from Synthesis. Oh good, I was muted that whole time. That's uh, amazing. Let's, uh, sh I can't check how long I've been muted, but uh, oh yes I can, hold on. Um, okay good, only a little bit. <laughs> so um, yeah, what I was trying to say is, let's, let's recap. Oh really Iago, is this the Cave of Wonders? I really didn't recognize it. It's uh, you know, I definitely, <laughs> A, I haven't been here before, and B, it's not very distinguishable. Are you sure? And then what else I said was that I just I wanted to take the ability for Aladdin's uh, auto valor off, or auto limit off because um, I don't want to keep triggering it. I want to use shift shot on those guys, which is a really easy reacting command. You literally just press triangle and you fucking throw them. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is remember in Kingdom Hearts one, my Kingdom Hearts one Let's Play, where this thing fucking rocked me. I lost so many times I had to like cut out the, the losses until I just won against it. Yeah, fun times. Also, um, for some reason, the cave has changed. It's not. It doesn't look like it did in Kingdom Hearts One. There's floating shit now too. Um, so that's something. Uh, these enemies are pretty easy, and they're definitely worth farming because they give gems, and they're like ridiculously easy. I think so. There's these, and there's like ice cubes, and then there's the wizards are kind of annoying, and I think they also introduce another harder enemy here. I forget what exactly what it's called, but it's like, it kind of looks like the Red Nocturnes from um, King Hearts 1, but it's like bigger, faster, stronger. Um, so it's more annoying. I don't know exactly what it is. Before I grab the treasure chest, treasure chest, blah, I want to just kill everything first, just to make this easy on myself. Um, there's, a, a, there's a couple enemies that spawn here. Um, I guess the ice cubes don't spawn yet. They might be in the next area. Bright shard, hooray! Dark Shark, meh. Okay. Uh, Aladdin's actually a really good fighter. I think he's probably better than Goofy. I still... Ah, oh, man, fuck this. However, I will do it this time. I'll trigger it manually. Um, so like every limit break, triangle X, triangle X, triangle X, triangle X, triangle X. Till the finish. There we go. So you see, it dro they mix them dry drop uh, drive orbs. Which is pretty helpful. Oh, I don't have any MP. I was going to shoot Blizzard at them. Um, it's not all healing them with fire. I hope not. Come on. Oh, fucking... Ooh, I almost got the sticker. That would have been pretty funny. Alright, there we go. I feel better about myself now. Alright, we should be able to get this one. Here! There we go. It's also for the new puzzle, so who cares? I must have missed the heart piece, or the heart puzzle piece. It's gotta be somewhere really obvious. It might be the piece that's above um, Scrooge. Above his, above his, um, what do you call it? His, his ice cream shop, or above the Moogle shop. That might be the one I'm thinking of. There's a couple other in uh, Hollow Bastion that were somewhat easy to get, and I think I just didn't go back and look for them. Really, you're gonna spawn up here? You guys are assholes. Can I use fire in the air? There we go. That was actually pretty cool. And an energy gem. Good. Great. Fantastic. Um, Alright. Man, this is really weird. I gotta... My audio is still zoomed in, and I don't like that. I need it to be as fast as I'm norm as I'm accustomed. There we go. It just it doesn't tell me anything. It just looks like a bunch of waves. I need it close up to know exactly how loud I'm being. Alright, so you do this. Jewel floats above. Uh... What do I have to do here? Jewel floats above. 
Do I have to touch this? Yeah, examine. I think I might be able to fit in the pedestal hole. I forget. This is another. This is a mini game. I don't remember it being particularly memorable. Oh, okay. Oh. I think you might need to protect a boo. That is what instinct is telling me. Um, oh, again, I don't remember. It doesn't mean it won't, you know, destroy me. Go, a boo. Oh, okay. So you can tell him when to go, and then you have to deal with the. Uh, oh, okay. You can lift him up. Go, a boo. And then you can make it. You can force him to jump. Go, a boo. Make him jump again. Go, boo. Pretty, uh, pretty worthless minigame, being completely honest. Although Donald learned blizzards, that's something. Also, I learned, um, summon boost for all those summons I use. There's another save point. I don't remember if this one's permanent. I think so, because it leads to the outs it leads to um Ooh, I don't want to save there. Um, 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 um I don't want to save there or there, but this one should be fine. I might have to make a new save file first. I don't think I've ever done more than three parts in a row. Um okay. Could talk to Iago, or I could not and just continue. Um so I believe I come down here. There's a little trial I have to do. Yeah, I remember this. Translate. Complete the task. Basically, you have to kill the enemies in the time allotted, which is not hard. Um, you can fail it. I think the most important thing here is there's a sticker halfway down that you have, you'll like fall, and there'll be a sticker, and you have to land in the right spot to get it. That's the most um, annoying thing here. I don't remember. Oh, it's not. It is that one. Oh, it's not. There's a different one. It's like halfway down. Um, I can't see it. I don't think it's between the next one. But it might be before the last one. Fucking fat... Stop targeting me! You're an asshole. There we go. Still use full swing, which is very helpful. Alright, it's this one, I think. Maybe? Uh, uh. Yeah, there's one that you need to like actually fall into. I'm not looking forward to it. Alright, I wonder if I can just... Freeze Fat Boy to death. Ooh, that helps. Ooh, wow. Yeah, the Fat Bandits have always been more of a pain in the ass than, um, what's it called? The Large Bodies. Alright, this is the one, because I can't see anything. Uh, where is it? I don't see it. Ah, uh, right in the middle. Right in the middle. We got this. Come on. There we go. I like it. It's last battle. Nice. Good. I'll bet the enemies respawn. Oh, they don't. Wow. I didn't have to do shit. Like I said, that's like ridiculously easy. So was that other mini game. I feel like I don't know if they had to dumb them down in playtesting because it was just too hard. But um, not very difficult. Glad I muted my microphone for that. Um, okay, let's you let's equip not equip summon boost, which um, increase the amount of time summons will stay. That's helpful if you need to level up your summons, but I don't, so it's not. Um, items, stock, I think I just got new, yeah, Frost Gem and Blazing Gem, I didn't have any of those yet. Neato. Um, this is actually a really important save, save point, because you'll have to come back here. You're gonna be a goddamn map, aren't you? Damn it. Um, why do they put the maps in the big chests? Like, gets me excited for no reason. Um, I think that'll take you back to the top, or that might take you back. Oh, shit, I was supposed to... No, oh, I didn't realize that would advance the story. I thought I could just walk through the door.
Okay, that seemed, again, seemed kind of pointless. Um, I don't need to save yet. But uh, this next area is where um, one of the Mushroom 13 comes in. And it's the best mushroom, or the best area in the game to level up your Valor form and your Limit form. That one should do it. Huh? Oh boy, that's perfect. That guy's gonna want this. Sure looks valuable. Great, now let's go get that lamp. <laughs> we gotta keep Jafar bottled up, or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. That is a great question, Donald. <laughs> I feel like Heartless mysteriously appear far too often. Um, so yeah, this is um, so this is the these were the enemies I was talking about. Where shift shot is just super fucking easy to use. You just mash triangle and keep throwing the enemies. It's great. I, I think because this is an event because this is an event battle, I don't know if they drop items. That might be like the stipulation. Because these, I've played a lot of these, and I know they each have a chance to drop blazing gems. So I'm a little shocked. Um, oh god damn, no. I got this, I got this. Um, wisdom form. Oh, come on, get the spell off, get the spell. Come on. Nope, okay, that did not work out how I planned. But it's still working out somewhat well. Can my MP pack come back, please? Like, really? Very much appreciate it. Full swing, helpful. I don't know if I can use it in this form. There we go. Oh. No, no, no. Come on. There we go. Maximum HP, auto healing, maximum HP. Not bad. It's weird that maximum HP crease isn't like a letdown. Like, I want an ability or something. Let's go. Hello? Stop your whining and hand it over! Oh no, I'm trading it for treasure! This lamp is going to bring me riches! Kind of disappointed the peddler isn't voiced by Robin Williams, but I feel like that might be uh, a little unrealistic. Also, I'm still in wisdom form. This is gonna be a really stupid and shitty thing to do, but I'm literally just gonna leave. I'm just oh no, it works. Okay, so this area, I guess, during the whole chapter, is like this because it definitely changes at some point. All right, let's get those items in. Same AP, AP boost for collecting, for finishing the collection, for getting 25 different types. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah, this Aladdin's level is shorter than I remember. I don't remember. I don't think part two is longer either. I think it's just uh, just, just short level in general. All right. Um, See, so yeah, we gotta do this. We have a boss fight, which is this next boss fight to me feels like a very classic Kingdom Hearts one. In that it's just it's a heartless for one. Like I can't remember the last time we fought a goddamn heartless. Um, well, Beast's Castle was a good one. Um, Mulan was, um, whatever his fucking name is, Shan Yu or something, um, 
A lot of Shan Yu, and then um, Beast had a Beast had a good one where it was like a classic Heartless battle. Uh, and then we had Olympus Coliseum, which was uh, which was Hades. Uh, no, which was Pete, and I'm trying to remember it. I literally my brain is just not working. Uh, it was Demiix, and it was it was uh, the Pete fight, and then it was the Hydra. So no Heartless there. Um, and then I'm trying to remember. Um, then we went to Port Royale, which was not Heartless related. It was uh, Barbosa with that with that other Heartless kind of there. But uh, yeah, so this 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 area has a really good Heartless battle. Beast Castle has a good one. The second time you go to Milan, there's a really good one. Um, I'm trying to remember other ones. Um, I don't think there's a good one in Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, Pride Lands, there's a pretty good one. Um, uh, yeah, They're pretty much the only ones I can think of. It's like the like crazy heartless. Like I'm talking like guard armor, trickster, like the ones that were a lot better in Kingdom Hearts One, I think. It's mine. Lampog, go away! Gotcha. No fair. <laughs> I win. Huh? Oh. Nice one, Iago. Way to go! Don't drop that cloak behind you! Try bird brain. Just wait till Jafar's free. He's gonna make one beauty of a heartless. I'm home. Oh, it's been eons. Al, you princely little muffin, you! Cosmic travel can get so lonely without a friend! The thing I left you forlorn and genie-less! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> Gen hey, Al, have you been putting on weight? Al, of course, what am I saying? You're living at the palace now! Aladdin! Jasmine! I can just picture it! Wait, tell me, am I being a pest? Just a big blue pest? Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you! Genie! Oops. I'll teach you to make a fool out of me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time for plan B! I'm finishing you mugs off right now! Alright, so these guys have a predictable gimmick, where one is fire magic, one is blizzard magic. magic. Um, I think there's reaction commands. I, it's been a while, I don't really remember the mechanics. And unfortunately, oh yeah, so this one is fire a gun. You try and shoot it at the other one, and then they both get stunned. Or, they're supposed to both get stunned. I don't think you can, um... I don't, I don't think you can blizz the gun on this one. I don't think you can, um, kill one before the other, or I, not... To a certain extent. Yeah, so this happens, they it turns into a bunch of ice cubes. Oop, hang on, I missed the rash command. Shit. Ugh. Such a pain in the ass. Yeah, so I don't think I can even target the blizzard one right now. I don't remember which one you have to kill first, but, um... They're around the same. Okay, so I think you can aim it at the other one, but to be honest, it's pretty easy just to hit him. Um, oh, shit. Ah, there we go. I like that even if you get hit, you can still use it. 
Oh, he, went, he went up against his own fucking fire. Oh, come on. He's literally doing this over and over. I don't remember this being that hard, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of being let down right now. It's literally just mash and trying. Um, yeah. Oh well. I guess we're gonna kill the fire one first. Who has the arguably better attack. Ooh, there we go again. Oh, but this is what I mean. These like these feel like Kingdom Hearts bosses to me. Like their design, their mechanics, stuff like that. I like it. It's not very hard, but they at least look like Kingdom Hearts bosses, which I think are pretty cool. Um, like it remind it takes me back to the Kingdom Hearts one bosses. with me for the last time. I'm gonna get you yet. Yeah! <laughs> All right! I promise you won't regret giving me another chance. Honest. Uh, Princess Jasmine, you sure you want that pigeon in the coop? Oh, I think Iago's shown that he means well. Aw, oh, sure, you're probably right. And how much trouble can one noisy bird cause? You just might have a point there, kid. What happens next, Sora? Well, it was great seeing you all, but we still need to find Riku and the King. I guess we'll be moving on. Hope you find him. Me too. Hey, where's Aladdin? He ran off towards town looking for Abu, but he should be back by now. I can't miss Sora's big farewell party. I'll have him back in a jiffy. Abu! Catch him! must have secretly stolen it from the Cave of Wonders. Well, I guess some things are just hard to resist. Sora, what is it? I think it's time for us to go. Will you be back? We will, I promise. Sora looks to the sky. Yeah, can you um can you pan to the sky so that it doesn't actually show us leaving? Okay, thanks. So you get the Lamp Charm. With the help of two friends, use the Summon Command to call forth Genie for helping fan for helping hand. Blah. Be honest, much like Chicken Little, Genie, not entirely useful in this one. Genie has a really cool gimmick where he also uses the drive forms that Sora knows, but other than that, just not a fun summon to use. The only summon I really will use in this game, we haven't gotten yet. Um, and even then, I don't, I don't use summons very often. 
Um, how many are there? I think there's four. I only use the third one. Maybe waiting isn't good enough. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's little rules. Got it memorized? Who are you? Axel. I happen to be an acquaintance of Sora's. Why don't we go see him? Sora? We've got something in common, Kyrie. You and I both miss someone we care about. Hey, I feel like we're friends already. You're not acting very friendly. God damn, I feel for Axel so much, especially after I I rewatched the cutscenes in 358 over 2. God damn, what a I feel so bad for him. He's got one of those characters who just got fucked. Um and it makes you understand in in this game so much better. Highly recommend watching those if you have Kingdom Hearts 1.5 or just watch them on YouTube. Uh it's definitely worth it. Um yeah. You okay? <gasps> what? You and that dog came flying out of a hole in the wall. He nearly gave us heart attacks. So I believe it's going to force me to go to Twilight Town. Or, yeah, looky there, Twilight Town. Yep, I can see it. It's back again. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Uh, yeah, next part I might just continue with Halloween Town. Um, just because it's, it's better progression-wise. And plus, that's level 28. Fuck them. Um... Yeah, so I think after you do Twilight Town, that sets in motion all the things. So I'll do Halloween Town. If it doesn't force me, I'll do um, I'll do Pride Lands too. Um, what I wanted to say though is I actually one of the things I learned in Riku's playthrough of Chain of Memories is a it explains why Riku looks the way he does, and b it also <laughs> explains why everyone and their fucking mother has those goddamn same coat. Like I've always joked. That there's only one coat manufacturer in the Kingdom Hearts world. They fucking explain it in, birth, in uh, Chain of Memories. I never would have known that. Basically, that that black coat it like masks your identity and stuff, so nobody can like detect you. Which is why Riku and the King both wear it because the King is clearly not passing for a member of the organization. Like Diz is the one who gives them the coats, and he even like says like, you know, it'll help disguise you. Well, maybe not the ears, as he like looks at Mickey. So. uh... 
that's your little tidbit of uh, some background story. That and go watch 358 over 2. The, go watch the cutscenes. I don't care how you do it. Very worth it. Uh, it's a good... It, I didn't think it would work, but watching it as like a movie totally works. Um, it's you get a, you get your start of plot, end of plot, rising action, climax, all that good shit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this here. We're at 50 minutes. That's a good ending point. I'm gonna do this in between parts at some point, and then I'll do Halloween Town next part if it lets me, and then I'll do Pride Lands if it lets me, and then I'll go to Twilight Town, and then after that I'm gonna have to go back to Hollow Bastion. It'll be a whole thing. But that's when the story really starts to kick up, so it's not that bad. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.